Welcome to the channel guys. This is the Ares 2 DSC. Why is there a need for another video for Ares 2 DSC? It is really because some of you ask how can this be a true balanced DSC? This is a small little guy that measure 26 cm less than 30 cm depth and the height is only about 60 cm and it uses resistor leather and how to how Dinafrips house the true balance um, DSC in this small little guy and this can't be a true balance deck it must be a single ended one especially so with this with there are only two resistor leather here two resistor leather will eventually tell us that it is not a true balance it is a single ended DSC <laughs> well this video is going to show you why is it really the deck is a true balance one and I'll also explain some of the architecture of this Ares 2 DSC. Please stay on the video, subscribe to the channel and receive more updates and you have more we'll have more technical in technical in-depth technical explanation of Dina Fripp's product like this in the near future. Alright, the Ares 2 DSC. The entry one from Dina Frips. We have a standby button here that allows you to put the DSC in standby. Not really a true standby, in all honesty. The standby button here um, put the DSC in standby, but the circuitry here keeps the unit um, warm, and um, the next time you use it, you will more or less in optimum performance level. So by keeping the power supply on and keep this. DAC in standby or fully on mode doesn't really have much differences. So if you want to keep it in standby or fully on mode, uh, that's fine. The input button here allows you to choose the different input and the face button here allows you to change the upper face 0 degree or 100 degree out of face, the positive or the negative face. And the mute button here allows you to mute the DAC just in case you need to mute the DAC to answer some calls. There are sampling rate LD here to show you what are the sampling rate that is feeding into this DAC. And that's about it for the front panel. And we have the IEC inlet here, a fuse holder and a power switch. The fuse holder, um, the fuse required is a 5 times 20 mm fuse and you can use higher quality fuse if you want. The fuse rating is a slow blow 2 M fuse. We have USB input, 2 coaxial input, and 2 optical input. A pair of XLR, a pair of RC output, I'm sorry, and a pair of XLR output. And it is a true balanced XLR output. The XLR and the RCA output are active simultaneously, but the RCA output tap the signal from the XLR positive pin 2, so it is not recommended to connect the XLR and RCR output at the same time. Connecting the XLR and RCR output at the same time may have an adverse effect on the sound quality. So in case you need to use the XLR and RCR output at the same time, um, it is highly recommended to use the output selector. So please find the link in the video below. And we may consider using such an output selector to use the RCN and XR output. Okay, internal. Let me use my pointer. The IC power will go through a filter circuitry, and there's this voltage selector here at the bottom that allows you to choose 230 volt or 110 volt. So if you are in the US, please select 110. And if you are in the US, oh, I'm sorry, if you are in the UK, Europe, and Singapore or Hong Kong like me, please choose 230. The AC mains will be sent to this 60VA all core transformer to step down the AC mains to a smaller AC voltage. And the smaller AC voltage will be sent to this capacitor farm and voltage regulator 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, LT1763. LDO voltage regulator and this voltage regulator will regulate the DC voltage and send to this circuitry right over here. 
we have the USB receiver and the USB um, uh, and a STM32 microcontroller that converts the universal serial bus signal to I2S and the I2S signal will be sent to this FPGA. The same goes to the two coaxial and two optical signal that will be sent directly to this FPGA by means of this unbuffer inverter. And this FPGA is doing a critical job of digital signal processing. So depending on which mode that you have chosen on the front panel, be it NOS, OS, slow filter or sharp filter, the processed digital signal will be sent to this shift register and the shift register will trigger or rather a toggle um, the R to R circuitry and the R to R circuitry here will send will convert the digital signal to analog one through the R to R ladder network to this RCA and XLR output. So by looking at this um, PCB you think that there is only one and two ladder circuitry but in reality um, it is not just two ladder circuitry it is one two three and four so the left channel signal the positive and negative one is processed by using this piece of r to r ladder and the negative one is processed by using this piece of r to r ladder and the right channel positive and negative is processed separately so it's a true balance r to r dac and the process r to r signal will output the analog signal through this rca and xlr output connector again the xlr output are true balance so if your downstream equipment is true balance we highly recommend you to use the xlr output otherwise you are fine with the rca connection in case your downstream equipment is single-ended. There are two femto clock here that is responsible for 45 megahertz and 49 megahertz um, crystal oscillator. So these two are the 45 and 49 megahertz crystal oscillator that provide the reference clock signal to the FPGA for the 44.1 kilohertz and 48k hertz music track um, signal. So these two femtor clock here plays an important part in processing the digital signal. And of course the R to R ladder again is a positive left and right and a positive oh I'm sorry the positive part of the left and the pos negative part of the left channel is located here and the positive right and the negative right channel is located here. So visually you think that it is just one and two ladder but in reality it is one two three and four there are four resistor ladder in this small little aries 2 dac it's a pretty popular uh, dac uh, it's really because of the price and performance ratio i hope this video explained and do subscribe to the channel and receive more update like this i hope you enjoyed this video see you next time bye bye